Welcome back to the channel where we explore, learn, and theorize about the Marvel Universe. Today I'll be talking about Anthony Mackie training for his next role, Guardians of the Galaxy 3 being Drax's last appearance, and a plot leak for the Marvels. Now let's get started. Do you guys still play Marvel's Avengers? Because man is that game disappointing. They just released an endgame skin for Black Widow, which isn't even that accurate. Not to mention that the model still looks awful. I mean, even mobile games like Marvel Future Fight can get skins that at least look like the movie, but that's not even the worst part. The worst part is that it costs 1400 credits, or 15 real dollars. But we are also getting a new event called Red Room Takeover, which starts with the Ruskaya Protocols, and also adds a new set of red and black suits for all the characters, which I guess is fine. Next, the Falcon and the Winter Soldier ended recently, but Anthony Mackie is already training for his next role. In an interview with The Daily Show's Trevor Noah, they spoke about getting in shape for Marvel movies. And Mackie said, you take the four months, like right now I'm at the end of the first month of the four month process, to get back away from Fat Mackie to Movie Mackie. And of course this can mean that he's training for a different movie or show that doesn't have to do with the MCU, especially since he didn't say Falcon, Sam Wilson, or Captain America. But they were talking about Marvel movies when he said this, and the interview mainly focused on the Falcon and the Winter Soldier and the MCU, so we could possibly see him in an upcoming movie or show. And since he's doing the full form of training, it definitely won't just be for a cameo. Moving on, James Gunn has said for a while now that Guardians 3 will be his last Marvel movie, but it also seems like this could be Drax's last movie as well. In an interview with Digital Spy Magazine, Drax actor Dave Bautista said, I mean as far as my obligations, I've got Guardians 3, and that's probably going to be the end of Drax. So it seems like his contract is almost over, and Marvel hasn't renewed it. However, there were actually plans to show more of Drax and even Mantis in the MCU. As in that same interview, he stated that there were talks for a while about a Drax and Mantis film. It was really because it was James Gunn's idea. He really wanted to do a Drax and Mantis film. He laid it out to me, and I thought it was such a brilliant idea, but I haven't heard any follow-up from the studio. I don't think they're interested, or it just doesn't fit into the way they have things mapped out. Next, Roger Clark apologized for his previous tweet, hinting at him playing the thing in the upcoming Fantastic Four movie, saying that he hasn't been cast, but he wants to play the character, and he was just putting it out there in hopes that something would happen since his agent hasn't had good luck with Marvel. And lastly, we have a plot leak for the Marvels, but like always, take this with a grain of salt as it's coming from 4chan. And while things on 4chan have been fully or partially right in the past, it's by no means confirmed. But here's your spoiler warning just in case it is right. Anyway, the leaker starts off by saying, I have some details about the upcoming Captain Marvel movie. The rename was requested by Brie Larson when she couldn't agree with any of the other titles Kevin Feige suggested. Not sure who exactly came up with the Marvels, but I like it. The first 45 minutes will take place in space, and the friend of your mother mentioned in WandaVision is indeed Nick Fury. Mind you, this all takes place after Secret Invasion. Kamala Khan will not have her powers for the first hour or so of the film. Monica will learn more about her powers from Carol, and Carol will help her learn how to control them and use them correctly. There will be several flashbacks of Maria from both Carol and Monica, and the post credit scene is Kamala turning into a scroll and the real Kamala Khan being held captive. And this is really interesting, because it could explain why Kamala didn't have her powers for the first hour. Maybe when a scroll shapeshifts to someone with powers, it takes a while for their powers to activate and for them to be able to use them. But let me know what you guys think about all this. Do you still play Marvel's Avengers? What upcoming movie or show do you think Anthony Mackie could appear in? And what did you think of this plot leak? If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on post notifications so you'll never miss another video. Thanks for watching, and remember to wash your hands and stay safe.